the foolishness of man is revealed in his quest for wisdom. What an awesome statement. The Bible further goes on to say in 1 Corinthians 3, 19, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. Have you been in a situation or have encountered people where they think their intelligence, their degrees and diplomas and knowledge of situations have made you feel that small and they've belittled you because of your lack of knowledge. Friends, when you're a child of God, we don't profess to know everything, which will be impossible. But we do know God gives us the wisdom. God gives us the understanding. God gives us, most importantly, discernment how to tackle certain situations through the working of the Holy Spirit in us. In fact, that very same scripture in the latter part of that verse 19 of 1 Corinthians 3 says, God, he traps the wise in the snare of their own cleverness. Amen. Friends, don't you for one moment as a child of God think that you don't have the knowledge. You are second best. Now I'm not saying that you must go around professing to know everything. No, then you'll be no different to the so-called wisdom of this world. Because God humbles those that think they know too much. God humbles them so that He can be glorified. No man's wisdom will ever take him to heaven. That's right. In fact, all the degrees of this world put together can never come close to who God is and His wisdom. Again, I say it. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. That's right, friends. The Lord knows the thoughts of the wise. And He knows that they are worthless. Verse 22, uh, verse 20 of that chapter 3 of 1 Corinthians. So don't boast about following a particular human leader. For everything belongs to you whether Paul or Paulus or Peter or the world or life and death or the parent, the present or in the future. Everything belongs to you and you belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. Hallelujah. That's the ensuing verses of that chapter 3. Father, once again, we come in no other name but of your son, Jesus Christ. Daddy, we recognize that our own wisdom and intellect and knowledge will never ever bring us even close to you. So we lay aside our own wisdom. We lay aside our own thinking. Father, we take on your thinking. For our thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are our ways your ways. And Daddy, today you make the wisdom of this world foolish because you know our limited man is and without you we can do nothing so lord humble us remove our pride and so that lord we can exalt you because if we too full of ourselves there's no room for the holy spirit to work within and through us forgive us lord sometimes our pride gets in the way of having that deeper walk with you Today, we put that all aside and we, Father, rebuke the working of the flesh in our lives. Thank you for hearing our cries. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, friends, the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. Until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.